Hello, thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to be replacing a gear shift lever on a snapper riding mower. Here's a look at the new gear shift lever. Narrows here. Has the tabs here for the uh, handle grip. First thing I noticed was the color match. Uh, definitely has a good close color match to the um, original Snapper Red. And here's a look at the old Snapper. This is an original part here. As you can see where it broke off there. So uh, let me show you real quick here on the Snapper where it broke and try to match it up a little bit um, against the old one. So it broke like right here, this uh, first bend. So here's the last look before we take the lever off here. Uh, it looks like it's being held on by a cotter pin here. So uh, get some uh, pliers and straighten that out and remove that. But uh, let me just show you once again how difficult it is to try to shift this. <clears throat> Especially when you're trying to drive it. <clears throat> so anyway, I'm doing it with my left hand and I'm right-handed, so probably have to... There we go. So, uh, well, yeah, let's get the new one on. Pin out, I was trying to get this little rod out. This rod here runs all the way through the lever. And uh, realized that if I do get it out, I'm not going to be able to get it back in. Uh, let me show you why. Um, also, just to make it a little easier to get to, I took the wheel arm, or I took the bolt out of the wheel here, and I'm going to take that off just to make it easier. You don't have to do that, but uh, you can see the spring here is compressing against the panel here, making it very tight on the uh, lever here. So if I do get that pin out, and the pin, you know, you just, you just push it through. Uh, you have to do that to get the new one on, to get the old one off, of course. Um, but then you have to put the rod here back in. So with the spring here, as you can obviously see, um, you know, I wouldn't be able to, 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 to put it back in. And it's difficult to even get off. So I need to press the spring here. Um, so that there's not as much tension on this. Where the C-clamp comes in at. Um, I really need a deeper one. I'll try to measure this and let you know what I'm using here, but uh, I really could use a bigger one. Okay, so here's my clamp on here. You can see it's really not that deep. I need to go farther up there up here and clamp on like over here but I'm being restricted here so uh, I think I'm gonna have enough all I'm doing is just tightening the clamp and by doing that it's closing the spring here it should allow me to have space here to get the uh, rod out here and to get the lever off and the new one on and it's very tight now so I'm just I'm going to use this uh, pipe wrench here to still still a lot of pressure there. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down just for a second so that I can use two hands to uh, tighten the, the clamp a little more. Okay, so uh, tightening the clamp now has, has also tightened the springs down. It's allowed me to have more play here. There's not so much tension against this uh, pin here. Probably need to tighten it a little more, but I think I can get that pin out now. Yeah, that just... Alright, so I'm going to head out to the hardware store and get another clamp. Okay, back from the hardware store. This is a 3 inch, or this was a 3 inch. And they had a 3 inch, they had a 4 inch, and I opted for the 6 inch. So, uh, that's the brand there. Probably know where it's made. Same place this was made. But this is a much heavier metal. Um, even the three inch was much heavier. The three inch Husky was much heavier than this. So anyway, let's put the six inch on and uh, let's try to get this finished. Now for just putting the new one in place. In neutral there. And before I actually uh, put the uh, that pin back in. The rod back in. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, handle, the hand grip on because I may have to hammer that in place. So uh, I'll do that while it's just kind of hanging here in position. So here's what we have rod is still not in place. I'm leaving it out for now. Get, got the handle where I want it, at least the side that I want. Got the two holes, one on each side here. Let's line those up. So I'm going to push it down. And with my other hand, I'm going to be holding this. I'm going to tap the top with my rubber mallet there. Tapped it on about, I don't know, three or four times maybe. Um, didn't take much to get it on there feels really good it's not moving around like uh, even like it was on the old one so fortunately uh, can use the old hand grip All right now we're going to put the pin back in place may need two hands for this. Just need to kind of hold that over there like that.
me get this started. Oh, there we go. Probably best to put a new pin in. This pin has been stressed out quite a bit and it's got a lot of uh, tension against it. Alright, so we're in neutral there. Got the grip on. Grip is nice and tight. So uh, that's pretty much it. Let's uh, go ahead and Leave the pressure off of the clamp in the uh, spring there. And as you saw with the clamp earlier, don't get your head anywhere near wear eye protection for this. Uh, now would be a really good time to lube the uh, uh, the transmission so the gear shift lever seems to be working great I haven't ran the mower yet but I'm getting ready to uh, let's take it through the gears here really easy to move so uh, yeah that's awesome shifter feels really good the grip feels really good so i think i'm back in business here with the mower so thanks for watching the video hope something you see has been helpful and until next time have a great day and take care